Right, good morning, B&I Chester. Morning. Oh, that wasn't too bad. I'm going to ask you to do that again. Good morning to our visitors, Chris, Carolyn and Karen. Thank you very much for coming along today. I've been asked by the leadership team today to talk to you about getting more referrals in the chapter. Because if we all pass more referrals between ourselves, we'll go up the traffic lights and we'll look a lot better when those traffic lights get shared. We'll all be in nice, better colours that we want. It'll look better across the region, so B&I Chester will look better compared to the enemy at B&I Roman. And those people across over at B&I Wilmslow are the scourge of the regional traffic lights. It'll make David Williams look better, the executive director for B&I Cheshire West, because he will be the golden boy of B&I UK. And these are all very good reasons why we should be passing more referrals. But there is a better reason. That's because you'll all get more business. Who wants more business in B&I? Excellent. Good. I'm in the right room. Now, as I say, I've been asked to help to, to talk to you about passing more referrals, about how to get more referrals for other members. But I don't want to do that, and I'm not going to do that. So apologies, leadership team. I'm going to go off, off kilter a little bit. Because I think you're all doing a good job. I think you're all out there looking for referrals for other members, and I think you're, re you're really trying. So I want to flip it around a little bit. So rather than talking to you about how you can find referrals for other people, I want you to be selfish. I want you to get more referrals for yourself. And the way that you do that is in the bit that's coming up in a moment with our weekly presentations. Now, the weekly presentation has really one purpose, and that's to train everybody else in the room on how to find business referrals for you. Now, over the months and over the last couple of years, the weekly presentations have kind of lost their way a little bit, particularly with the themes that came in, and they were getting off track. But what we need to be doing is using the weekly presentations to teach everybody else how to get referrals for you. And there's really three things you need to be doing in the weekly presentations. Three things that will get you more business. First one, you need to tell everybody who you're looking for. Now, most of you do that already. Most of you are pretty good at that. So you might have a particular name at a company that you're looking for. Or you might only know the company itself. Or perhaps you're looking for an industry. If you can't do any of those things, and I know there's some people who can't do that, IFAs for example, then you could do what Zoe sometimes does, and profile your ideal target client. Zoe often asks for men in their 40s. <laughs> who run businesses and have nice cars. What she does with them, I don't know. But that's who she asks for. And you can do that. That's the first one. Tell people who you're looking for. And we all pretty much do that OK. The second one, this is where we tend to fall down a little bit. Why? And I don't mean why do you want to speak to them, because in most cases, that's obvious. <coughs> we can all pretty much tell why Paul Murray wants to speak to a company that has a fleet of vehicles. He does insurance for vehicle fleets, obviously. We all know why Dave Tilston wants to speak to an office fit-out company. They give work to carpet fitters. Obviously. No. Why do they want to speak to you? Why do they want to speak to you? And I did a podcast recently with someone called Britain's best sales trainer, Andy Bounds. And he talks about something called the afters. The afters. And that is, what do people get left with after you've worked with them? What feeling do they get left with after you've worked with them? What results do they get left with after you've worked with them? Nobody wants to hire a web designer. They want what comes afterwards. Nobody wants to speak to an insurance broker. They want what comes afterwards. Nobody wants to talk to an accountant. <laughs> they want what comes afterwards. That's what you need to be doing in your weekly presentations. Who are you looking for and why do they want to speak to you? The third thing some of us do, and that's how do you actually introduce you? What do you say? How do you start the conversation? We don't know. It's your business. You have these conversations all the time. You need to tell us how we can introduce you as a business. And if you do those three things, we'll all pass more referrals. Our traffic lights will look a lot better. We'll look better compared to B&I Roman and B&I Wilmslow. David Williams will look like the golden boy within B&I. But more importantly, 
you'll all get more money. Thank you.